Good day, wonderful learners. I trust that you're doing fine and studying. My name is Grace Ayabuke, your mathematics teacher for primary four. And our topic for today is weight. Our topic for today is weight. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to say the meaning of weight. Mention the units of measuring weight and also convert weight from gram to kilogram and from kilogram to gram. And lastly, you should be able to add, subtract, multiply weight. We'll be, lastly, we'll be doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication of weight. All right, what is weight? Weight is how heavy an object or a thing is. Weight is how heavy an object or a thing is. And we have um, units of measuring weight. Weight is measured in grams, kilogram, and gram, the, the symbol for gram is G. Weight is measured in grams. G, kilograms, and the symbol for kilogram is kg. Tones for very larger weights, we measure them in tones. And the symbol for tone is capital letter T. And weight is usually measured using a scale. We have different types of scale uh, or a weighing balance. But for the purpose of this class, I said we'll be converting from gram to kilogram, from kilogram to gram. All right. The relationship between gram and kilogram is 1,000 gram equals 1 kilogram. 1,000 gram equals 1 kilogram. And 1,000 kilogram is equal to 1 ton. 1,000 kilogram equals to 1 ton. Next will be learning how to express weight in grams. Expressing weight in grams. We'll be expressing 7 kg, 2.14 kg, and 5 whole number, 3 over 4 kg in grams. All right. Seven kilogram. We converting seven kilograms to gram. Remember that the unit of conversion from kilogram to gram, or the relationship between gram and kilogram, is that one thousand gram makes one kilogram. So you write. I write down one thousand gram is equals to one kilogram. If one thousand gram is equals to one kilogram, then seven kilogram will be seven kilogram will be seven times one thousand. And the general rule in measurement is that when you're converting from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller unit, you multiply. When you're converting from a smaller unit of measurement to a larger unit, you divide. For example, in weight, the smaller unit of measurement is, kilo, is grams, while kilogram and tons are larger units of measuring weight. If I'm changing from kilograms to grams, I multiply by their relationship, which is 1,000. When I'm changing from the smaller unit to a larger unit, that, the smaller unit, which is grams to kilogram, I divide by the relationship, which is 1,000. This is a general rule in all forms of measurement. Whether you're measuring weight, length, capacity, whatever you're measuring is a general rule. Converting from larger units to smaller units, you multiply. From smaller units of measurement to a larger unit of measurement, you divide by their relationship. All right. So here, what we do is 7 kilograms is equal to 7 times 1,000. And 7 times 1,000 is equal to 7,000 grams. 
Don't forget to write your units at the end of your calculation. Question number two. We'll be changing 2.14 kilograms to gram. 2.14 kilograms to gram. All right, like I said, conversion from a larger unit to a smaller unit, you multiply by their relationship. And first of all, write the relationship. And the relationship between gram and kilogram is 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. Therefore, 2.14 kilogram is equal to 2.14 times 1,000. Some weeks back, we learned multiplication of decimals. And we also learned multiplication of um, decimals by multiples of 10. Here we have 1,000. The shorter method of multiplying 2.14 by 1,000 is we cancel out our zeros and we move our decimal place to our right three places. If, I, if we do that, we we'll have 2140, 2,140 grams. That is our answer. 2.14 kilograms to gram is equal to 2,140 grams. Question number three. Five whole number three over four kilograms. Remember that the relationship between gram and kilogram is 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. Now for 5 whole number 3 over 4, converting it to kilogram, you know that we we'll multiply, we we'll multiply it by 1000. Now, it's easier for us to change 5 whole number 3 over 4 to an improper fraction. It will be easier to do that. All right. Changing 5 whole number 3 over 4 to an improper fraction, we have 4 times 5, which is 20. 20 plus 3 is 23 over 4 times 1,000 over 1. Now, 1,000 can be divided by 4. So 4 here, 1. 4 into 10 is 2, remainder 2. I write down my remainder here, it becomes 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5, and 0 divided by 4 is 0. So we have 250 times 23. 250 times 23. If we multiply 250 by 23, 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5, 15. I write my 5 and carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, 7. Three time, 2 times 0, I mean, is 0. 2 times 5 is 10. I write down my 0 and carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1, 5. When I add this, I have... Zero, five, seven, five. So my answer is five thousand seven hundred five thousand seven hundred and fifty grams. So five whole number three over four kilogram expressed in gram is equal to five thousand seven hundred and fifty grams. That's our answer. Next, we'll be learning how to express weight in kilogram. We just learned how to express our weight um, from kilograms to grams. We'll be learning how to express from grams to kilograms. All right. The first question here is express 3,050 grams to kilogram. 3,050 grams to kilogram. Remember that I said the relationship between gram and kilogram is 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. That is the relationship. And I also mentioned earlier that when you're changing from a smaller unit 
In this case, grams is a smaller unit of measuring weight. When you're changing from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you divide by the relationship. So here now we have 3050 grams will be equals to 3050 divided by 1000. We'll be using the shorter method of dividing of, of division. And the shorter method is that we cancel out our zeros. This zero will cancel this zero. And we are left with 305 divided by 100. We we'll cancel out the other two zeros and we we'll move our decimal point towards the left. Remember that in, in multiplication you move it towards the right, but in division you move towards the left. And then what we have here is 3.05 kg. That's our answer. 3050 grams to kilogram is equal to 3.05 kilogram. Second question is 816 grams to kilograms. All right. Remember that the relationship between gram and kilogram is that 1,000 gram is equal to one kilogram. If 1,000 gram is equal to one kilogram, then 816 divided by 1,000. And like I said, we cancel out our zeros and move our decimal place, decimal point, three places. I will have 0 0.816, 0 0.816 kilogram. That is my answer. 816 gram in kilogram is equal to 0 0.86 kilogram. Question number three, nine. 2,380 gram to kilogram and 2,380 gram to kilogram the relationship is still 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram now we're trying to change 92,380 grams to kilogram we divide by 1,000 92,380 divided by 1,000. This zero will cancel out this zero. We are left with 9,280 divided by 100. I cancel out the two zeros and move my point two places. And I will have 92.38 kilograms. Therefore, by 2,380 grams to kilogram is equal to 92.38 kilograms. The next will be learning how to um, add, subtract, and multiply weights. We'll be looking at different mathematical operations involving with addition, subtraction, multiplication of weights. And I have some questions here we'll be answering shortly. Question 1 says 1 kilogram, 286 gram, plus 2 kilogram, 685 grams. Number 2, 17 kilogram, 842 gram, minus 13 kilogram, 516 grams. Question number 3, 13 kilogram, 281 gram, plus 8 kilogram, 770, uh, 8 kilogram. 762 grams. Question 4, 24 kilogram, 158 gram times 4. And lastly, 81 kilogram minus 26 kilogram, 689 grams. We'll be solving these questions. All right, number one. Number one question is one kilogram, two hundred and eighty-six gram plus two kilogram, six hundred and eighty-five grams. 
So we'll be adding these two weights together. We'll have one kilogram. So we add. All right. It's still just your normal addition. Six plus one is six plus five is eleven. I write my one and carry one. One plus eight is nine. Nine plus eight is seventeen. I write my seven and carry one. One plus two is three, and three plus six we have nine. I write down my gram and write the kilogram. One plus two is three, so our answer is three kg. 971 grams. Question number two. 17 kilogram, 842 gram minus 13 kilogram, 516 gram. This question is a subtraction question. We're subtracting. All right, so we have 17 kg, 8. 42 gram minus 13 kg 516 grams. Two take away six cannot go both from four. And we're left with three. So we have two of 12 minus six is six. Three minus one, two. Eight minus five is three. Write down our grams and put the kilogram. 7 minus 3 is 4, 1 minus 1 is 0. So our answer is 4 kilogram, 326 gram. Question number 3, 13 kg, 281 gram plus 8 kg, 762 gram. Wow. 13 kg 281 plus 8 kg 762. Alright, one, one plus 2 is 3. 8 plus 6 is 14. Write down my 4 and carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 7 is 10. I write down my zero and carry one. I have my kilogram here. One plus three is four. And four plus eight is twelve. And one plus one is two. So our answer is twenty-two kilogram forty-three gram. Twenty-two kilogram forty-three grams. Question number four is 24 kilograms, 158 grams times four. 24 kilograms, 158 grams times four. We're multiplying our weights now. Right. Four times eight is thirty-two. Write down two and carry three. Four times five is twenty. Twenty plus three is twenty-three. Write three, carry two. Four times one, four. Plus two, six. So we have uh, six hundred and thirty-two gram. Four times four is sixteen. Write my six and carry one. Four times two is eight. Eight plus one, nine. This is 96 kilograms, 632 grams. Question number five, 81 kilogram minus 26 kilogram, 689 grams. Now, look at this question carefully. You realize that 81 kilogram does not have any number in grams but the other um, uh, weight has both grams and kilogram so what we do is you write your 81 kilogram and then you write your 26 kilogram 
689 grams. And then we borrow one kilogram from 81 kilogram. If I borrow one kilogram from 81 kilogram, I'm left with zero here. That one that I just borrowed will be changed to grams. Remember that 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. So I will, I will replace that one kilogram I just borrowed with 1,000. And I can now subtract. Zero take away nine cannot go. I cannot borrow here from here either, neither can I borrow from here. So I borrow from here, I'm left with zero. I write down one, it becomes ten. I borrow from ten, I have nine. And here I have ten. I also borrow from this ten again, I have nine, then I have ten here. Ten minus nine is one. Nine minus eight is one and nine minus six is three so my answer here is 313 311 grams so i can now subtract 80 minus 26 kg zero minus six cannot go i borrow from eight borrow one from eight and i have 10 10 minus six is Four and seven minus two equals five. So my answer is fifty-four kilograms, three hundred and eleven grams. Fifty-four kilograms, three hundred and eleven grams. All right. I believe you enjoyed the lesson. I have a home package for you. I have a homework for you. I would like you to answer this question. Answer these questions. Question number one says, express each of these weights in kilogram. And the first question is 278 grams. We are expressing 278 grams in kilogram. Question number two, 11,417 grams is to be expressed in kilograms. Then, next question, set of question were to express in grams. Number three is 8.11. We're expressing 8.11 kilogram in gram. And we're also to express six whole number, two over five kilogram in gram. Question number five, add nine kg, 738 gram plus six kg, 619 grams. And lastly, 45 kilogram minus 28 kilograms, 805. Please, I would like you to send your answers to my WhatsApp phone number. Continue to stay safe and remain good children. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.